Welcome back. Now, in a groundbreaking fusion of technology and athletics, Beijing hosted the world's first half marathon featuring humanoid robots as they were running alongside human participants. This event not only showcased China's advancement in robotics, but also sparked fresh questions about the future of AI in our daily lives. In Beijing's uh, Yishuang district, history was made not just by humans, but also by humanoids. A total of uh, 21 two-legged robots that participated in the 21.1-kilometer half marathon running on a dedicated parallel track alongside over 12,000 human runners. These bipedal robots developed by Chinese companies like Droid VP, Noitex Robotics came in various shapes and sizes. Some of them were sleek and athletic, others were boxy and experimental. Supported by the teams of engineers and navigators, they ran, they stumbled, they rebalanced and rebooted, offering a glimpse into the future of robotics in real-world environments. And to avoid any mishaps, the organizers kept a divider between the robots and the human participants, and the robots were also programmed to stop periodically for battery changes, recalibration or assistance if they lost balance. Some like uh, Tianguang Ultra impressed the observers by completing the entire race in two hours and 40 minutes with only three battery changes, showcasing advancement in robotic locomotion and stability. So something that has never happened before as their humans seem to outrun when it comes to the robots at the Beijing Half Marathon, but all did not go smoothly as planned. A few robots that also stumbled at the starting line. There are others uh, which were overheated or froze mid-run. Only six of the 21 actually completed the race. The rest dropped out, not even from exhaustion, but from technical limitations. So still there's a symbolism that was hard to miss. The robots and the humans running side to side, marking the moment of uh, convergence between biology and code, muscle and metal. And this wasn't just a race, it was a rehearsal for the next phase of human-machine coexistence. Let's get in a word from Rishabh now. Rishabh, well, of course, when it comes to uh, the human beings, uh, the human and robots don't seem to be a match as far as human participants are also concerned. Uh, clearly, the humans outrun when it comes to the humanoids or robots over there. But this is something historic, never been seen before, seems to be a stepping stone uh, when it comes to how probably the coming decades would look like. Well, uh, definitely, this was one of its own kind of marathon, uh, which was uh, you know, conducted in Beijing, where uh, what we're given to understand that 20 teams, for, you know, uh, actually fielded machines uh, 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 in the form of humanoid ro robots. And there were even, uh, you know, instead of pit stops, there were also, uh, the, 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 you know, battery change uh, spots as well. And, uh, you know, the, the, the one who claimed the victory crossed uh, the 21 kilometer stretch into uh, two hours, 40 minutes and 42 seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, while, while the humans were still using the old techniques, uh, the humanoid robots were using new techniques. And it is uh, in a trial phase right now, but it would be very interesting to see how things unfold from here and what robots will uh, do extra. You know, uh, many on social media are saying that, yes. uh, you know, a machine was not meant to run a marathon, but to do my, uh, you know, uh, for uh, how, home to, home uh, issue things so that I can run marathon things are happening otherwise. So there are various comments coming in on this issue, but we'll have to wait and see what next. And how, as far as advancement of technology is also concerned, this was uh, showcased in a way as far as best as possible, uh, what humans can do and robots cannot. But this is also one such example, Rishabh, that probably if we go back in the history today's day, when Beijing held such kind of half marathon would have been unimaginable. Well, definitely, you know, five years ago, ten years ago, for that matter, uh, thinking that uh, robots would be participating in uh, in something like a half marathon would uh, not have been thought. You know, when it comes to innovations in robotics, uh, it is majorly um, you know done for medical purpose or for uh, things that need uh, further precision and uh, you know. Uh, Machines can do it better than humans, but uh, a marathon uh, of sort uh, being, uh, you know, conducted where 20 teams field their humanoid robot is some, uh, robot is something that is, uh, you know, quite unimaginable even till yesterday, till it's done for that matter. Now we are talking about how it looked like and what all issues came. Uh, if two days ago we would have asked, uh, people would have just laughed it off saying that it is just another social media rumor. All right, so 21 humanoid robots joining thousands of runners at the Yizhuanga 
half marathon in Beijing and uh, the robots that were from Chinese manufacturers, um, many of them said to be as uh, tall as uh, when it comes to 1.8 meters. And uh, even when it comes to the tests and the trials that were taking place for their robots for weeks just before the race, Beijing officials have described the event as more akin to motor racing given the need for engineering and uh, navigation teams as well. And the robots were running, uh, they were very stable. And uh, this seems to be when it comes to an evolution of robots and AI, and especially when it comes to the coming decades. Uh, this seems to be, of course, a visual treat that we are looking at, but also something that the advancement of technology that has now taken over. But as far as the human race is concerned, uh, you know, in comparison and in competition with the robot still is supreme. Thank you, Rishabh, for the update. We head into a short break. You're watching Times Now. More lined up on the other side.